Hello. I rarely share anything online from my personal journal. Well, until just recently, because this August, you're likely to see less of me on the main social media platforms, but I'm not going to be disappearing totally. In fact, throughout August, you can catch me live every Tuesday on YouTube, in Clubhouse, and you can ask me literally anything about this journey, about being visible or anything else that I usually speak about. But I get it. Being seen less in August, though, I know, I know, I know. The people who I have shared this with so far said, well, that's a bit strange. You're a visibility specialist. What will people think? Why would you do that when you're a visibility specialist, especially as you're known as the queen of being seen? And you've been doing this since 2010. So why are you doing this? Well, the first thing that I really wanted to explain, especially to you here, especially as a subscriber here or as a person lending their ear and giving their time to listen to these messages, which will continue throughout August, is I know that there's a lot of people that jump on bandwagons in the online space. And that's not a criticism. It's an observation. Somebody will do something or a group of people will do something and others will think, oh, that's a really great idea. I'm going to do that as well. As a visibility specialist, the thing about that that I find heartbreaking is when a person puts themselves out there in the world, puts their gold and their value out there in the world, the thing that's going to be in total alignment with them and total alignment to the people, the organizations, the companies and whoever else they work with will be that they get to really know them and their work. So when somebody does something that looks good on the outside for someone, you know, from somebody else, then it kind of gets in the way of you showing your zone of genius, your gold, your value, the thing that you really love and are passionate about. But enough about that. Let me get onto the bandwagon jumping point. So this isn't something that I've seen somebody do. It isn't something that I thought would be a good idea. In fact, this started back in September 2021. In September 2021, I had a bit of an epiphany I sat and I watched the world around me, you know, my family, my friends, my clients, business trends, companies that I was working with, networks, organizations. And I noticed something that didn't sit well with me. So I really quietly and quite slowly for me contemplated whether I was doing some sort of career sabotage, whether I was being impulsive whether it was just a passing thought or whether I was fearful somehow about something and I was being driven by fear. But I actually sat with the feeling and I sat with it for quite a few weeks and I thought, you know, this will probably pass. Maybe there's something that's happened that's made me feel this way and it will pass. But for any of you that have ever had that gut feel about something, where you can really feel it in your stomach. It's like a drive, it's like a, a driving force, it's like a passion, it's like something that you can't not do. I noticed that it didn't pass. The thoughts didn't lessen, they didn't weaken. In fact, the intensity of this grew. It really felt like a deeply intuitive thing to do. One which I didn't know why. Bizarrely, there was no reason for it. I mean, any of you that know me well, have worked with me, will know that I totally love social media. And I'm not about to change and start slating it and saying how awful it is. But I'm really happy to post online. I'm happy with having multiple channels. I'm happy to share different pieces around the way. So for me, the fact that this feeling didn't pass and its intensity grew felt quite strange, if I'm honest. So for weeks I explored, I uncovered, 
And I did discover why. But in the next audio, I'm going to take you back to my journal and what I actually discovered back in 2021. See you on the next audio. Bye for now.